All right guys, welcome back for more gaming news. It's again every time here, and tonight we will be discussing about new upcoming gaming title. Star Wars Hunters, inclusive of its release date with all latest news and rumors surrounding it. Star Wars Hunters is a new team-based multiplayer game coming to mobile and Switch. Made by developer Zinger and Lucasfilm Games, Star Wars Hunters takes place after the fall of the Galactic Empire, with a cast of new characters you'll be able to choose from as you join squads and take on multiplayer battles in various settings inspired by iconic Star Wars locations. Some of the characters you can choose to fight as in the upcoming arena combat game include the likes of Rebels, Stormtroopers, and Bounty Hunters. A panel during the Star Wars Celebration 2022 event also revealed that every character will have backstories and set dynamics with other characters. Star Wars Hunters was originally set to launch sometime in 2023 before being pushed back to release sometime in 2024. While the title has been mostly silent since its original announcement back in 2021, development seems to still be underway. The latest news confirms Star Wars Hunters will come to a galaxy near you sometime in the future, but maybe not as soon as you might be hoping. Zinger, the game's developer, has repeatedly delayed the official release date for Star Wars Hunters. In their most recent announcement, they confirmed a 2023 release. They made this decision to meet the high expectations of Star Wars fans and gamers, choosing to invest additional time in refining and enhancing the game. Star Wars Hunters was originally slated to be released in late 2021 for Nintendo Switch, iOS, and Android. Then the game was delayed in July 2022 to a general 2023 release window. The latest news comes from a post on the Zinger Star Wars X account on November 8 announcing the game has been delayed yet again to a nebulous 2024 release window. Star Wars Hunters will release on iOS and Android, ensuring access via the App Store and Google Play. Additionally, the game will be free to download on the Nintendo Switch and won't require a Nintendo Switch Online membership. With Star Wars Hunters being a free game across all of its platforms, there's no need to pre-order it. Simply wait until its release date and head to the store to download the game to your device. Though brief, the trailer gives us a glimpse at a few things. Firstly, we hear the rumble of conflict, so we can assume that there's a location that will be available in the full game. The trailer takes us through the halls of a new location, showing holograms featuring a Wookiee, a red lightsaber wielding fighter, a heavy stormtrooper, and a Mandalorian. When the door opens, we can spot a large conflict going on. Most of it is shrouded in dust, but a blue lightsaber pops up, implying a Jedi could be playable. A second cinematic trailer in late 2021 gave us a first look at some of the characters that will be playable in the game. Star Wars Hunters is described as centering on thrilling, team-based, multiplayer battles featuring a diverse array of distinctive new Star Wars characters in a press release. Which is a lot of jargon to say this is going to be a team-based game in the vein of Overwatch, just with a Star Wars coat of paint. The gameplay trailer for Hunters shows multiple heroes, or Hunters we suppose, duking it out on a number of maps. Each Hunter has their own abilities and compete in game modes that seem like any other team-based title, such as a payload mode. Star Wars Hunters images popped up online thanks to a Facebook ad via daily Star Wars games, giving us a new glimpse at the UI, some of the Hunters, and a bit of the customization. There's Stormtroopers, Wookiees, Jawas, and what looks like a random assortment of droids and other galactic vagabonds. You'll be able to customize your hunter as well, even down to stacking Javas on top of each other and sending them out to fight. Zinger's Star Wars Hunters has been delayed from 2021 to 2022, but for now there's no specific window for the game. Star Wars Hunters has revealed some new characters, maps, and headball, a fan-favorite mode from the Old Republic, which is coming to the game. For those who don't know, headball is an 8 on 8 mode, similar to capture the flag from most multiplayer games. You can also see two of the new characters joining the game. This includes Skrull, a doctor from the Rodian species, who can heal allies, as well as Sprocket, a tech genius who controls droids for offensive and defensive purposes. Star Wars Day came and went, but sadly there was no new information on Star Wars Hunters. As such, we can only imagine that a release is still quite far away in the future. We saw a brief glimpse of Star Wars Hunters gameplay at the Disney and Marvel Gaming Showcase at D23, but nothing new in terms of details. Following a recent delay to 2023, it's still looking far off. In late 2021, Star Wars Hunters was soft launched on Android devices in India, Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia. Despite this, on July 18, 2022, Zynga announced that the official release of Star Wars Hunters would be delayed until 2023. On November 8, 2023, Zynga's parent company, Take-Two Interactive, announced during its quarterly earnings call that Star Wars Hunters had been once again delayed and is scheduled to release in 2024. 
While there hasn't been any specific mention of an open beta, Zynga has engaged players with a soft launch in selected regions. They have used this time to gather user feedback and make adjustments, much like a beta phase. In late 2021, the developers implemented the soft launch of Star Wars Hunters on Android devices in India, Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Star Wars Hunters is being developed by UK-based development studio Natural Motion Games. The mobile developer has created several popular titles including CSR Racing 2 and Dawn of Titans. Star War Hunters is a squad-based arena shooter. Players fight in settings inspired by Star Wars locations and set between the events of Episode 6 and 7. The game is set to feature a diverse set of characters including a Wookiee warrior, female Dark Side Force user, a bounty hunter, and an Imperial Stormtrooper. Star Wars Hunters takes a squad-based arena shooter gameplay style where players can engage in battles in various iconic Star Wars locations. The game's timeline fills the gap between episodes 6 and 7, further fleshing out the Star Wars lore. Players can play as many characters, including a Wookiee warrior, a female Dark Side Force user, a bounty hunter, and an Imperial Stormtrooper. According to the press release for the game, players will be able to build a diverse squad featuring brand new and unique Star Wars characters. Ranging from daring bounty hunters to heroes of the Rebellion and Imperial Stormtroopers, Star Wars Hunters will contain plenty of characters to join forces with and to take down the opposition. To date, there have been 12 Hunters announced for the game, all of which are original characters in the universe. This includes a character that is just two Javas in a trench coat. Star Wars Hunters takes place after the fall of the Galactic Empire, occupying the space between the original and sequel trilogies. This is the same era covered by The Mandalorian. As the game does not seem to have a heavy narrative focus, it is unlikely the setting will matter too much, and we won't see the game evolve into other eras of the franchise we know.